Hey, collective. <clears throat> it's your girl, Stace. Here to do an energy read because I feel like it. Happy Sunday. It's a quiet, relaxed day. Hope all is well with everyone. <clears throat> I heard that you're free today. Yeah, keep yourself free. Keep your spirit free. Keep your emotions free today. That's what I'm hearing. Don't, don't allow anybody to project their energy onto you. Don't allow anybody to... Try to force you to help them carry their karma, their baggage. Don't, uh, not today. Look, maybe tomorrow they can find somebody else to do it. Right? Thank you, spirit. What's the message? <laughs> what that for? Spirit, what's the message for the collective? Please and thank you. It's windy outside. That was the message. The emperor. Okay. So somebody that's in control. You're in control of. Uh, you you regulate the energy that you give out. Then you regulate the energy that you allow in. Right. You're in control. You're in control of your environment, right? You're not going to allow anybody to come in and, and start trying to control your environment, trying trying to start <clears throat> picking up somebody coming in trying to want to be taking control, like thinking they're going to, basically, it's like you walk into somebody's house and then you want to be, become the person like you're the, you're the leasee, you're the one that signed the papers, you're the one that paid the bills, you know, with that kind of energy. I don't know. I feel like you're not allowing that to happen, right? That's what I'm trying to say. You're not allowing people to come in and, and stake a claim on anything that's yours. Come on, spirit. That's what I'm hearing. Okay. And you take care of those that are around you as well. We got the Sage of Swords. All right. We got the Hierophant. Mm -hmm. And then we got the Two of Pentacles. Adaptability. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I feel like with this two of pentacles, this adaptability, I feel like people see people see you, right? They see that you're you're very spiritual, you're very grounded, you're you're about your your business. You hear me? It's like you don't play about it. You know, you're very calming energy. Hmm, I'm hearing what's that here? I'm hearing hmm. Hmm. Zen. That's why I'm hearing somebody hum. Mm, somebody could do that. Mm, two of Pentacles, Sage of Pentacles. Somebody watches you. Somebody watches how you carry yourself. Somebody watches how you, uh, how you. Yeah, it's like the things that you do. Somebody watches your your spirituality. Somebody watches how you move in the world. Somebody watches how you interact with other people. Somebody's watching you. Somebody, and with this p sage page, whatever you want to call it, sage of swords, the sage is a king, though. This is a king. This is a king of swords that's watching you. And it's something about your adaptability. Something about the way you balance yourself out, right? Something about, like, how you balance your dark and your light, how you don't let shit really take you out of, out of um, off your, your, your uh, throne or your pedestal. Right, so to speak. It's like, you know, well, yeah, you have issues, but you don't let them outweigh the good that you have in your life. You know what I'm saying? You you have this balance with life. And somebody sees that. Somebody sees how well you adapt, how you juggle. That's what the Two of Pentacles is, how you carry shit that may not be comfortable for you, right? That may create an imbalance in your life, right? Thank you, Spirit. Mm -hmm. well, I looked up from the cards. <laughs> See my lips. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's what happens when you, when you take your eyes off what you're doing, right? You look up and see what they talk about. You get distracted, right? But I know I'm, I'm not live, but you're feeling me. What are you down here doing? Somebody going to get an ass whooping today. You hear me? Bad, bad. All I want to do is play. Man, I'm telling you, this cat going to be here. Uh-uh, 4, 4, 4 o'clock. All right, let's keep going, Spirit. What we got here? The magician. Ooh -wee. And you can manifest your ass off. Whatever you put your mind to, whatever you set your mind to, you get that shit. Somebody sees that. 
The emperor could be male or female, but the empress could only be female. Y'all know that, right? Okay, just saying. This could be a feminine in her masculine energy, taking control of her life, very grounded, pray, a prayer warrior out here. You know, somebody that they, they guides and give. I heard, I, why I keep hearing sage? I know it says sage of swords, but it's like sage. It's something about sage. I'm going to have to look more into what, what other property sage has. All right, but somebody sees you as, and with this purple, it's a lot of amethyst. Some of you guys could carry amethyst, all right? That, that's a calming, that's a peace, uh, uh, yeah, peaceful energy, mm -hmm. okay? Somebody sees you as the magician, somebody that has all the tools that they need to manifest anything that they want, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Thank you, spirit. What's going on here? So you got a king of swords that's watching you, that's studying you. Yep, they got their eye. This is somebody that's very smart in their own right. Seven of Pentacles, generosity. Somebody may want to give to you this King of Pentacles, the Sage of Swords. Why I say King of Pentacles? Ain't no King of Pentacles out here. The hangman. Somebody's been thinking, contemplating on how to invest with you, how to, how to, with this generosity. It's like somebody wants to give to you. Maybe somebody has seen... You go through some struggles and they see how you adapted to the situation, how you, you know, you held on, you persevered, you, you know, you didn't step outside of your integrity. You didn't sacrifice yourself in any way, shape or form, right? You stay grounded and you manifest it, whatever you need in your life, right? Come on, spirit. Even with very little, did somebody saw you do a lot with very fucking little? With um with an unequal footing, I'm hearing, right? With an imbalance, right? An unfairness. They saw you hold it together and stay balanced and stay grounded, even though shit was unfair for you. You adapted to your to your environment. You didn't complain. Somebody wants to give something to you. They've been thinking about it. They've been contemplating. They've been watching you. They've been watching how you carry yourself. Ten of cups fulfillment. Wow, somebody sees you as emotional fulfillment. Wow. Somebody they can really, uh, yeah, invest in. That's what I'm hearing. What's this spirit? Witch of Pentacles. Come on, man. Somebody sees you as, what is the witch? Oh, is the witch the queen? I don't know where the book is. I feel like this is the queen of Pentacles. Somebody sees you as very grounded, very stable. You turned a little bit into a lot. You took them two pinnacles and you made some kind of stability for yourself. This also could be this, this person seeing people be generous towards you, right? That's putting you in a very stable, grounded, very uh, mm, desirable, I heard. It wasn't even desirable. It was another word that I heard. Position, right? A position where... You know, people want to come and you're very fruitful. Look at this basket of pears down here, honey. And that pinnacle. Yes, things grow with you. You're master manifester. Hello. Hello. Master manifester. That you are. That you are. And somebody sees you, you know, building building a legacy for yourself. Thank you, spirit. Building a foundation for yourself, a stable foundation for yourself by yourself. There's nobody else here. Shit, you could be the king of swords energy. You could just be very smart, right? Very skilled. Somebody that knows a, knows a lot about a lot of different um, topics I'm hearing. A jack of all trades is what I'm hearing when I'm picking up. Take it how it resonates. Two of cups, openness. Ooh-wee. Somebody loves your openness. Somebody loves how vulnerable you are, how... how um transparent I heard that you are right and how open you are about your emotions and your feelings like there's like they don't feel like there's any any hidden anything hidden um about you okay like you're very transparent you're very open you're very humble kind of energy three of cups support and love wow they can see a lot of support and love around you 
Okay? You could be attracting a lot of support and love around you. All right? But it's the energy that you give off. It's your groundedness. It's your humbleness. It's your willingness to, to nurture and, and have compassion. And you know what I'm saying? It's that's what you embody. Apprentice of one, ace of, of cups. Somebody wants to come towards you. Somebody wants to offer, wants a beginning with you. Somebody sees you as wish fulfillment, love, right? Somebody likes the way you're open with your with your energy, right? It's that's something to that effect, like how you you know you're very matter of fact, you're very um, honest, you're very how we said transparent. It's like you're an open book. Thank you, spirit. That's what I'm picking up. Mm. Oh, we got these are too many spirit. Keep going, Jesus. Thank you. All right, we have ten of swords. Wow, collapse. Mm. Somebody could have tried to tear down or or to destroy something that you're trying to build, <clears throat> that you're trying to create in this in this magician energy. Somebody could be like trying to. Uh, sabotage you with this collapse energy somebody wants something to fall for you to to not to be uh sturdy right your foundation something let me see what's got nine of swords anxiety hmm what's this contentment yeah somebody tried to bring some kind of anxiety into your life but you're too content you love yourself you you love yourself. You're content with yourself. You're satisfied with who you are. You don't need any outside influences to validate you. And this is what somebody failed to see. Or they're about to or they're seeing now with the wheel of fortune and the seeker of swords. Somebody somebody's watching you. Somebody's spying on you. Somebody's seeing that the wheel of fortune is turning in your favor. Somebody's seeing that they didn't and they couldn't collapse whatever it was that you were you were building right they couldn't uh break your foundation is trying is what i'm trying to hear crack your foundation or whatever but somebody was was steady throwing swords or 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 things to try to put a a, a chink in your armor come on spirit somebody wanted to cause you some kind of anxiety somebody was trying to rock your boat nigga they was trying to take you off of this higher font energy this controlled energy this this balanced energy they wanted to to take that off but Listen, how can how can someone, you know, uh, destroy something that first and foremost, right, they didn't even build, right? They have no idea how to even get there, right? Somebody's realizing that that your strength and your and your tenacity, what I'm I'm hearing, right, and your ability to to give to yourself, right? It kind of it's kind of like you healed your self node energy, you healed the the parts of you that they were trying to attack. They were trying to attack your self note, but you healed yourself from your self note once you start loving to love yourself. You don't act in a in a a, a hasteful way. You don't act in a, a impulsive way. You don't act in a, a self loathing way because you've healed that energy about yourself, and that's what somebody was attacking. Somebody was hoping that that would bring down this tower for you. Somebody, yes, they did, and they watched. Yeah, look, this is somebody from your past. Somebody you had a past connection with. All right. Thank you, spirit. Mm-hmm. Ten of cups. Fulfillment. Wow. Yeah, somebody sees that, yeah, with this wheel of fortune, that you're going towards your wish fulfillment. You love yourself, and now you're going towards, you know, having somebody to give that love to and somebody to give it back to you. Thank you, spirit. Eight of swords. Yeah, they frustrated. Somebody's frustrated that all they, they you know, their attacks and all their, their attempts to... um create some kind of, hey, hey, sorry, uh, tear down my damn curtains, because she's sitting, in, she in the window, yep, I got one of those, <laughs> you can't go outside, so you just sit in the window and watch, window watching, <laughs> yeah, fuck with my, because it's windy, right, and the, and the curtains are blowing, so she think that's something to play with, mm -mm. Man, what's the message, Progress, right. Somebody sees that you moved away and you're making progress in your life. Mm -hmm. Despite their attempts to bring a tower into your life, to try to take you to, to create an imbalance in your life, right? Especially when you when you were at your lowest point, somebody thought that that would be a good time to, to try to attack you when you were, you know, when you didn't have, when you felt like you didn't have all the support that you needed, but you had persever perseverance, you had tenacity. 
you overcame those obstacles because of you grounding yourself, because of you healing those traumas, that self node energy. It's like, yeah, this is, yeah, you know, I mean, I have enough money after the bills get paid and, and all that shit and the car note and the groceries. I may not have a whole lot left to myself, but look what I do have, right? There ain't nothing that I need. Anything that I may want, maybe it's not the time for me to have that. You know, you got to look at, you have to look at things from a higher perspective, right? Stop looking at it as if, you know, you're losing or you have less than somebody else. Come on, man. Let me tell you something. There's people out here that have the nicest cars and nicest fucking homes and they broke as fuck. They got no food in their refrigerator. You hear me? They can't put no gas in the car. They can't make the fucking car note. The kids are suffering, right? Come on, man. For, for, for trying to fit in with the outside. That shit's irrelevant. That shit's, it, that's the, an illusion. What's going on here, Spirit? Anything else? The fool. Come on, man. Yep. They see you taking a leap of faith. Yes, you did. You trusted the universe that if you jump into that bed of flowers that you was going to be okay. They was going to catch you. Yes, they are. You believe in yourself. And you, and listen, you took a bet. You took, you bet on yourself. That's what this is. You bet on yourself. Fuck it. I love myself. Y'all don't want to kick it with me. Y'all want to, you know, act such, such and such or however it was, right? I'll just go ahead and do it, do my thing and do me. And be okay with that. A lot of people ain't, can't do that. A lot of people have to have that. A lot of people are codependent. They have to have somebody in their life to be their backup. To create that balance, right, that they can't do by themselves or they're unwilling to do by themselves. God bless the child that has his own. That's willing, right, to go through the hard times, the low points in life, right? Come here! The low points in life, those times when you got to work 40 hours, right, and wait for that slow check. That first week you don't even get paid. You gotta you gotta go a whole two weeks if you started on a you know a, a, a odd week, right? You know that kind of shit. Like you gotta go through. You struggle. You penny pinch it. You go into the food pantry. Been there, done it, baby. Been there, done it. You hear me? Walk. Tell the bus driver I don't have it. You know, do the that. That's the type of shit I'm talking about. And still have your fucking pride and your integrity about yourself. Come on, spirit. That's who you are. And you created a solid foundation for yourself, whereas you create your own wealth, you know, and so to speak. It's not, you know, you're doing it on your own. You're, you're doing it by yourself. You're going through the, you're getting it out the mud. You hear me? You're getting it out the mud. You're not depending on somebody else to pay your bills or to create a shelter for you or to give you money to get to it. Listen, it, that ain't how, it's not, that ain't, wasn't in the cards. I don't see that in the cards. I see somebody isolated and somebody that's a little bit jealous, envious because of your tenacity, because of your will, because of your spirit, because you believe in yourself, because you trust what your higher self is telling you that you can be and you can have and you're going for it. Despite the naysayers, despite all the obstacles and all the, you know, the detours and, and deception and shit around you from people that may have pretended that they they got your back. Right? Come on, man. And somebody sat back and watched you get it out the mud. You hear me? They watched you get it out the mud. Spirit, what's this message? Sage of Cups, King of Cups, the star, somebody watching you heal, baby. Somebody watching you heal, you hear me? And look how they looking like, wow, look at this shit. Mm-hmm. They watching you heal. And this could have been somebody that, that maybe felt like you didn't, there was not a whole lot about you. You were very simple, right? That's the energy I'm picking up because there's not a lot of color here. But you're a healer. You're not somebody that maybe stood out. You know what I'm saying? You're very quiet kind of energy. You're very peaceful kind of energy. I don't know. I'm picking up a quote. Well, the star is Aquarius. <laughs> anyway, come on here, Spirit. What? Three of Swords. Revelation. Wow. Mm. I feel like somebody's watching you. And they're, and they're just they're like in awe of how you have... Look, this is definitely somebody from your past that watches you. All right? 
This is somebody that may never even told, well, you know what I feel like? This is somebody that may never even have told you how they felt about you. But when they look at you now, you see that foot that's in that water. They got one foot in the water. Some Look, somebody's like, we, they're having a, uh, uh, ooh, come on, spirit. Somebody is looking at you as if you are every fucking thing. You hear me? Somebody's got feelings for you and they never told you that shit. And they sit back and they watch you and they watch you. Shub, uh, struggle with those two of pentacles with very fucking little. They watch you stay balanced. They watched you keep control over yourself, your body, and your fucking environment. Come on, spirit. That was important. Your body. And they and they watched you heal. Mm-hmm. Yep, and then somebody's falling, has fallen for you, love. Somebody could have dreads or somebody could have braids in their hair. Yep, it's a uh, I heard of Pisces. Eight of Pentacles. Look at the improvements you made. Ooh, we somebody like wow. Somebody really showed the fuck up and showed out, right? Somebody. It's almost as if they didn't bet on you. You, huh? It's like um. It's like uh, you know how you have like how you breed dogs, right? You want to breed like a pit bull with a pit bull, right? And this is like. Uh, a mutt breeding with the pit bull, right? And it's and you get that that what do you call those those animals? They're not mutts, but something else, something of the litter, the runts, the runts of the litter. Maybe somebody felt like you were you were somebody that really didn't have a lot to fucking offer, right? Somebody did, somebody judged the book by its cover, man, for real, for real. Somebody judged the book by what they saw you going through. They judged you by what they saw that was going on around you. Never really thinking about how did that happen or how did that come about, right? Or even just talking to you and seeing what was really going on in your space, right? They just judge by the struggle that ah uh, maybe you know you're not, you're not smart enough, you're not skilled. It's a, yeah, they judge you fucking wrong. Eight of Wands, come on now, come on now, momentum. Yep, they see some some improvements around you and in your money, right? Listen, with that Eight of Wands. Yes, they see a grown momentum. They see, yes, they do. Yes, they do. The world, man, you close this cycle out. You close this cycle out. You learned the lessons that you needed to learn. You went through the struggles that you needed to go through. You did the healing you needed to heal. That's how you learn how to love yourself and stop looking outside for it. Stop looking for it in love, relationships, sex, and material shit. Come on, spirit. Because at the end of the day, you can get all of that shit and still be unhappy. Because it's because you haven't fulfilled what's inside. You haven't went out there and got it for yourself. You've been looking for other people to put those pieces to fill in those blanks. No, no, no. You got to do all that by yourself. You got to sit down and put your own puzzle together. Spirit, what's the message? Huh. Somebody might have thought you didn't have all the parts. Somebody thought you weren't capable of being whoever you turn out to be. Somebody missed. Somebody really look. Three of Swords. Have, look, they having a revelation. I'm trying to tell you something. Somebody seeing some shit like, oh wow, I messed up. The Witch of Swords. Come on, man. I'm telling you, you are this Empress. You are the Empress. You are the Empress. Yes, yes, you are the Empress. You have the Queen out here. The Queen of Pentacles. You got the Queen of Swords. And like, what's there another? And the Queen of Cups, I believe, is out here somewhere. I believe. Apprentice of Swords. Listen, you're very, listen, you're very unique. You're very, um, I want what's the word I'm looking for, spirit? You're somebody that's a go-getter, right? I'm even hearing you could even be like a tomboy. That's the energy I got. It's like you have, you have a lot of masculine energy about you. you you're not somebody that gives up easily. You're somebody that does a lot of things on your own. Right? You have a very strong character, a very strong will about you. All right? Temperance, and you're very balanced. All right? Yes. We got the Seeker of Wands. This is like the Page of Wands. You're always looking for the next thing to do, the next challenge in your life. How to build yourself up, how to grow, how to elevate. You're always looking for that. You're always looking for an adventure. You're very adventurous. You're very... Um, Eager to learn is the energy I'm picking up, okay? Can I get one more spirit before we close this out? What's this? Strength, nigga, come on. Man, listen. 
You know what it is. You know how to tame that beast inside of you. And you possibly can tame the beast in other people. All right? Because you know yourself. You know your weaknesses and your strengths. You know how to tame that. You know how to keep that balance in your life. All right? Come on now. You learned how. Listen. Listen. Come on, spirit. You learn how to balance your life out. Your heart is light as a feather, right? You you rid yourself of, of guilt and shame and resentment once you started. Ooh, shit. I don't need it. Once you started loving on you, you started evaluating each of those cups in your life, right? And and pouring out whatever no longer serves you, whatever wasn't feeding you and, and elevating you, you, you evaluated each of those cups until you became content, right, with each and every one of them within yourself. Those, those shortcomings, those traumas, those things that may have caused you harm in the past or made you behave in such a way, you evalu evaluate those things and those things you no longer needed, you got rid of that shit, man. And now you just love yourself. You replaced all that with, with spirit, man, with love of yourself. Come on. And that's what's giving you this justice. You cleared your heart out. You hear me? Thank you, Spirit. What, listen, four cups processing. Something's processing. All right? Somebody tried to stop your progress with these swords as well. But you moved away to calmer water. Mm-hmm. And start evaluating that, that. Look, thank you, Spirit. You started evaluating those cups around you. That's what I was just talking about, right? When you started pouring out whatever you no longer serve you five sort of striving. Yes, you didn't give up. Even though you had obstacles, even though things may have been difficult for you and challenging for you, you still kept going. You didn't stop. You know what I mean? Because if you stop, the only option you have would be to go back. Right? Mm-mm. Come too far, baby. Right? Uh-uh. And look, I heard, and I ain't no quitter. You hear me? I told you, somebody could have really looked security. You are very secure, and you will be secure, especially in your finances. All right? You built the security for yourself. Thank you, spirit. Three of cups, support. Mm. I don't know. It ain't on the table. Maybe there's support coming in for you. Respite. Mm. Which of ones? I don't know. What's going on? What else here, Spirit? Anything else? Okay. We have the hermit, man. Listen, somebody's been doing some work. Somebody's been going inside. Somebody's creating their own security. Listen, this is this is what happens when you've been broken. This is y'all see my nail? Yep, I'm about to go get that fixed. This is what happens when you've been broken, right? That's how I see it with the security. This is what happens when you start to have to really evaluate yourself and the people in your life, right? Because <clears throat> sometimes that brokenness can have us turn, turn that pain in on ourselves and, and become regretful and, and regress and, and never not want to do nothing. We get depressed. We don't want to move. We, you know, we don't want to fulfill ourselves. We, there's this cloud over us to say we ain't good enough. We ain't never gonna make it. Every time we try, we fail. That kind of bullshit, somebody came out of that. Somebody came up out of that. Yes, I don't know about this three of cups with the support because I feel like you did this on, by yourself. And somebody's been sitting back watching you overcome all of these obstacles and challenges in your life. Yeah, somebody's watched you navigate through all of it. All of it. All of it. You could have been overwhelmed with burdens. You hear me? Somebody watched you over overcome. All, look at the sun. I can't make it up. Yep. The 10 is the end. That's the end. It's like you done came up the hill. Now you're coming down the hill. Right? Listen. Seeker of swords. You're looking for a new way. What's next? This is what this is you. What's next? The adventurer. Or this could be somebody just spying on you. Take it how it resonates. What else was behind here? Five of wands. Mm. They watch you strive. They watch you not give up. <clears throat> conflict. Mm. I feel like you. I feel like with the sun, you're starting to see where this conflict is coming from. I feel like the sun, with the sun here on top of this ten of wands and this five of swords, it's like what's what's being enlightened to you and what's what's being revealed to you is about all these obstacles and challenges and this conflict that was sent towards you. 
while you were in your two of pentacles, while you were in your, your processing stage, right? But see, you were, you were secure. You may have been in hermit mode. That wind blowing like out there like crazy. Seven of wands, force, look. Mm. Come on now. Can I get one more spirit? And then I'm going to close this out for y'all guys. I'm going to get us a spiritual as fuck because you already know. Listen, Ace of Pentacles. Possibilities are endless. That's what I'm hearing. Two of Wands, initiations. You got a choice, baby. You got options. Mm-hmm. Let's get a spiritual as fuck. You're going to be just fine. But, you know, just know that, uh, no, you're not crazy. No, you weren't imagining what was going on in your life. No. And yet people did watch you. There's somebody in particular that watched you go through this struggle. All right. That could be having some kind of emotional um, feelings for the enlightenment I'm hearing. Because they watched you. They watched you overcome. Somebody's very much so impressed with you. I just want you to know that. Somebody also misjudged you as well. Right. They didn't think that you had the tenacity or the go, the go, the go within or whatever. They didn't think you had it. It's because you see why? You know why? Because this is somebody that's used to seeing people from the outside. If you ain't got what they think you got, right, then you you obviously ain't got what's got it going on. Or you can't produce or you, you don't have it about you. But most rich people don't dress that way. I'm just telling you. Most people with money don't wear their money. And I'm not talking about the bling. And I, I'm telling you, see, that's new money. I'm talking about people that, that have tenacity, integrity. People that get it out the mud, they don't do that. Sorry, because their security is more important than their flash. Spirit, what we give me one. All right, okay. That's too many. I just need one, please. Just one for the collective. Spirit to pick up the whole deck. All right, then. All right, we'll do it that way. Whatever way you want to do it. Because it might be something, it must be something specific. They want me, to, they want to come out of here for you, collective. Because they told me to pick up the whole that. <laughs> Can I get one for the collective spirit? What advice do you have for the collective, please? And thank you. All right. We got the womb is the place where the light enters you. Wow. The womb is the place where the light enters you. That empty space, right? That what we keep trying to feel? Okay, pick one time in your life you've been hurt and ask it how it made you golden. Did it make you more tender-hearted? Did it open you up when you were once closed down? Did that heartbreak lead you to more connection with spirit? Can you just, can you get just a little teensy, tiny bit grateful for it? Fuck yeah, look at you. You're like a wounded disco ball inside. This, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, pick the one time in your life you've been hurt and ask how it made you golden, how it made you the person that you are. Because sometimes, sometimes we can get in a place where something hurts so bad we get so angry, right? That we want to, all we want to do is get better. Never let this happen to me again. I'll never allow it. And you know how we fix that? We have to go with them. We have to figure out what the fuck is it. What's our weaknesses that got us fucked up in that position? What is it? Was it because I was smoking crack and I ended up with such and such and such? Because they had the crack that day. They had the money that day. I'm just saying. That's the past though. I'm just saying. Those are the things I had to look at. You know, why did I jump into this marriage? Da, 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 da. Listen, play the whole tape. All right, pick, pick one time in your life you've been hurt and ask how it made you golden, right? Did it make you more tenderhearted? Did it open you up when you were once closed down? Did that heartbreak lead you to more connection with spirit? Of course it did. Can you get just a little teensy tiny bit grateful for that shit? Instead of looking at it as a problem, as a loss, look at it as, at it as something that catapulted you, something that forced you, right? Didn't we see force out here? The seven of, yes, we did, the seven of wands. That forces you, right, to get your shit together. Okay, fuck yeah, look at you. You're like a wounded disco ball inside. You look good. The wounded warrior, right? Come on, man. Yep, you've been through a lot, but look at you now. Look at me now. Chris Brown, right? Look at me now. <laughs> All right, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed the message as much as I enjoyed giving it to y'all. Y'all have a wonderful Sunday. I'll see y'all later. Deuces.